Hello, Brendan from Open Range here, doing a little uh, SIG electro optic review for you here. We've got the uh, Romeo series, which is SIG's new um, red dot. Uh, I've got two models here. We've got one on the gun, on uh, the Tavor. I'm going to go over why I chose this optic uh, for this setup, which kind of led me to the research I've done um, on these to give to you guys today. So the first one we're going to unbox is the uh, SIG uh, Romeo 4A which is their entry-level optic. Um, it's the cheapest one they have uh, in this series. And it comes with the uh, optic uh, and the high riser is already installed. Um, it has a side-mounted battery um, on the cover there, on-off switch and brightness switch is on the top. Also comes with uh, a set of bikini lens covers microfiber cloth, um, adjustment tool for windage and elevation, and also the correct Torx head to tighten on to your rail. And it also comes with the lower um, mount as well. So you got a low mount and then an absolute co-witness mount uh, that comes on the optic. So that is the um, Romeo 4A. Then the other one we have here today is the Romeo 4M, which is the highest end on um, the SIG Romeo optics. And it comes with, um, it, looks, it looks similar, it's a little bit bigger. I think that's because of the lens caps, but it's got the uh, high mount, the absolute co-witness mount, um, both front and rear uh, lens caps. As, long, uh, as well as a uh, kill flash honeycomb um, on the front there. An extra lens cap, a uh, extra lens ring if you want to take out the honeycomb. Comes with the install installation tool and the windage uh, and elevation adjustment tool. Also comes with the low mount, the bikini covers if you want to use those. And of course, um, the uh, lens cloth. Also comes with a pretty good instruction manual. It's a generic manual for all the optics in the series. There's four of them. The A, the B, the C, and the M. Um, and we'll talk about the C a little bit because it is um, does have a major difference from both these. So, um, going back to the A. Um, the A is a 2 MOA dot. So when you turn it on, you've got just a nice clean dot. We'll get some um, still pictures looking through so you can see the dot. Um, it is adjustable up and down uh, for your brightness. Uh, and then a more than one second hold on either the plus or minus will shut the light off. Um, hit it back on. Momentary hit, and it'll come back on. Um, all the SIG Romeo optics have the, uh, what they call MOTAC, which is their motion sensitive um, on off so if you just set it in the rifle bag and it's in the safe or um, wherever it will automatically shut off and then turn back on as soon as it feels uh, any motion so that's the a jumping up to the m uh, like i said it looks very similar but it does have a couple of different features um, it also has the motac um, the quick on quick off adjustable brightness it also has a 2 moa dot and then a 65 moa ring around it um, with some hash marks on it, which I kind of think is a pretty cool feature. The other feature is if you hold down both the plus and the minus button, you can turn the ring off. So if you just wanted to dot, you can have that. Um, the major differences on the M is the ability to turn the ring off. Um, and it is IPX8 waterproofed, so it can go down to 33 feet for 30 minutes. So if you're looking for a waterproof optic, this is it. The A, B, and C Romeo optics are only IPX7, so they are not going to be as submersible. I'm sure they'll be fine if you just have the rain, but they're not set up for submersion. Um, kill flash. So the uh, C's, which I don't have one in with me. We've already sold the first couple we've had in the store here. Um, they're a little bit different design uh, as opposed to the side-mounted um, battery. They have a bottom mount. Um, battery tray 
And then across the top, it has a solar panel. Uh, and that solar panel is not to charge the battery, but it does give it um, some auto adjustment and extends the battery life from 5,000 hours to 50,000 hours. So it's a pretty big jump in battery life. Uh, but you do lose the waterproof. So if that's important to you, the, uh, the waterproof factor is only gonna be on the M. Now the reason I went looking uh, and doing the research on these is we heard about these at one of our distributor shows almost a year and a half ago now. Um, and they're actually just now starting to hit the market with some availability, pretty good availability. Uh, but I recently bought a Tavor and in going through the setup and whatnot, I found out that the uh, mechanical offset on the iron sights is pretty high. It's like 3.75 inches, um, which is almost two inches more than an AR, um, which makes zeroing a little interesting. Um, IWI suggests you do a 50 yard zero, um, which I had that set up on, um, but for a shot closer than that, you're gonna have a pretty good mechanical offset, uh, much greater than the two and a half inches you'd find on an AR. That's where this baby came in um, in handy because the ring, uh, I can zero the, the two MOA dot at 50 yards um, and then use the bottom of the 65 MOA ring um, at 25 feet. So if I have a close in shot, I don't have to try to hold over and guess where I'm gonna be at. I can use the bottom of that ring uh, and it has a little dash mark. Again, we'll show you a still shot where you can see the reticle. Um, and that's pretty cool, it worked really good um, for an in-close shot just to use the body. Uh, mounts pretty good, you can kind of see the look. That would be similar to an AR look. Um, it is an absolute co-witness, so it will, uh, it will co-witness with your irons on an AR um, or any other you know, modern sporting rifle type weapon. Um, I left mine with everything that came in with the, with the flip-ups um, and the, the kill flash in the front. The only thing that I think it's lacking, well, there's two things. Uh, two things I think it's lacking. The battery life seems a little lean. Um, I'd like to see maybe three years or five years a higher end on an aim point or a, um, you know, a Trigicon level optics. So some more battery life. Supposedly the MoTac will, will help with that, but I'll let you know as I get some more hours onto this. Um, the other thing is the, the rear lens cap is uh, a solid so um, you do have to have the lens caps down it's not like the uh, aim point where you can leave that leave them up and use both eyes open and still see the dot um, so maybe someone will come up with that aftermarket uh, you know another lens cap or maybe sig will, will change that in some some later generations um, okay we'll uh, have some still shots for you here the optics and uh, feel free if you have any questions to leave them in the comments below um, or on our facebook page also thanks a lot